Hi everybody, welcome to Happy Talks on uh, Friday, where are we, beginning of November 2019. I hope you're doing wonderful. I'm doing really good myself, I just got over a severe cold, so now I'm better. Um, what I would like to talk about today is the sea of mental garbage. How, when we are being caught up in mind, which, you know, all, almost everything in our modern day society is pointing us in a direction of getting a little bit more judgmental, a little more negative, a little more intolerant. And in many aspects, see, the interesting thing about being judgmental or intolerant and all that stuff, the interesting thing is that we think we're trying to create a better world by judging this group of people to do something better or that group of people over there. We think we're creating a better world, but in reality, what we're doing is we're creating a prison for ourselves, a mind made and man-made prison for our, ourselves, where we run around judging so much that we can't enjoy life anymore, that every single thing we see becomes something negative. And as we do that, we end up getting, our lives get smaller and smaller and smaller, because we end up being run by fear. Fear takes over everything. So when our minds are full of that garbage, the sea of mental garbage, we end up almost drowning in it. And what I would like to present to you is to go inside. Because beyond, like just like the ocean, right? Like when we have an ocean with big waves, big stormy waves, just a few feet down, maybe 10 feet down, even if there are big waves on the surface, deep down, it's completely calm. And our minds are very similar to that, as in, when our minds are, are being, you know, really worked up about something, still inside of us, beyond whatever is being angry and judgmental, beyond that, inside of us, is always calm and peace. It's always there and it's always accessible, but we forget, we don't know that that's how we function. We're never taught that, nowhere. No, not even churches are teaching us that stillness is deep within. Churches are saying you got to find God's forgiveness so you can so you can be free, which has very little to do with you, <laughs> right? So go back inside of you, find your peace, your inner stillness. And I found it through meditation. I found it through sitting still in silence and finding that that inner space. And I would strongly encourage you to go in that same direction. Because um, what ends up happening is that we end up, as we go on this inner spiritual journey, more and more things are revealed about yourself. New things come up, new lessons, new, new things we learn. And, and some hurts become the best teachers ever. Because quite often we can go deeper inside of us and we learn, you know, a trigger point. We learn something that made us react in a certain way. And then we can start as, as we have created a little bit of space. As we're not so caught up in swimming through that sea of mental garbage, as we're not caught up in trying to just to survive, but we're actually looking inside, we found a place of stillness and strength. When you're from that place, you can start becoming that watcher of your mind. You can start becoming can be like, why did I react so strongly to that? What happened here? Why, why, what, why do I get sucked into this and this situation over and over? How come I am recreating the same situation, you know, time after time after time? And once I start looking at my life in that light, I can, you know, start changing my life. I can take responsibility for my inner peace and myself. And slowly my outside starts to change with that. So much love to everybody. I'm so glad we're on this journey together and that we're finding peace. Bye-bye.